Hi. Welcome to my YouTube channel Electronics for Gate by Kota Vinkanna. My mobile number 6305826909. My name is K Vinkanna. So today I want to discuss the topic uh, UHF lines uh, as circuit elements, ultra high frequency transmission lines as uh, circuit elements. So here, first of all, we have to discuss for the open circuit impedance. Open circuit impedances. So here UHF lines. Uh, uh, these are basically two types. First one is open circuited UHF lines and short circuited UHF lines. First we have to discuss for the open circuit input impedance, open circuit input impedance of UHF lines. So now we are discussing here open circuit lines. So here in the open circuit UHF lines the open circuit input impedance is ZOC is equal to minus J Z0 cot beta L. So this is the negative reactance, reactance of the uh, input impedance. So here, but beta, the circuit diagram is, this is the circuit diagram. So this output is open circuit, this is the length of the transmission line, ZOC is the input impedance, Z0 is the characteristic impedance of the transmission lines. So here load is open circuit load is open circuit so here beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda then uh, we have to substitute beta value 2 pi by lambda in the equation ZOC is equal to minus j z naught cot beta L. then ZOC becomes uh, minus j z naught cot of 2 pi by lambda into L so here depends on the length of the L the cot beta L value is changed so depends on L value so now we have to take L value in between 0 and lambda by 2 first case in the first case the length of the transmission line L in between 0 and lambda by 4 then the angle beta into L angle for L is equal to 0, here angle is the uh, beta into L is known as length or angle. So for L is equal to 0, beta L is equal to 0, beta L is equal to 0. And uh, for L is equal to lambda by 4, lambda by 4, so then beta into L becomes beta L is equal to lambda, beta L is equal to beta lambda into L is equal to lambda by 4. So here lambda lambda cancel. 2 to the 4, then that is becomes pi by 2, that is 90. So angle is 0 to 90 degrees. So here, listen carefully, the length of the transmission line in between 0 to lambda by 4, the angle is 0 to 90. So for angle 0 to 90, cot beta L is positive value. Positive value. So positive value, when this cot beta L, cot beta L is positive, then enter this value, ZOC becomes negative, ZOC becomes negative. So for negative reactance, the circuit axis, this is the basic open circuit, this is the ZOC is the open circuit input difference, the length of the transmission line in between, in between. 0 to lambda by 4. So Z0 is the characteristic impedance. So for this negative reactance, uh, the circuit access capacitor, the circuit access capacitor. So here the UHF lines, uh, open circuit transmission, open circuit transmission lines uh, in between the length uh, 0 to lambda by 4 access capacitor, access capacitor. So, 
in case 2 the length of the transmission line the length of the transmission line in between lambda by 4 to lambda by 2 then the length for lambda by 2 lambda by 4 angle becomes 90 degrees to 180 degrees so here how it is beta L is equal to so angle is angle is beta L angle is beta L so beta L is equal to how much value so beta is equal to 2 pi by lambda into L value so L is equal to lambda by 4 then we have to substitute the L is equal to lambda by 4 then beta L is equal to 90 degrees so then L is equal to lambda by 2 then beta L is equal to beta L is the angle angle is equal to 180 degrees so here for angle 90 degrees to 180 degrees cot beta L so cot beta L is the negative, negative value cot beta L becomes negative value so then negative of the basically basically input impedance ZOC of open circuit that is minus negative reactance so minus j z naught into cot beta l value so in the cot beta l value negative value so negative value into negative value becomes positive value so when zoc is positive reactance then the transmission line access inductor transmission line access inductor so here for the zoc open circuit input impedance in between l is equal to in between lambda by 4 to lambda by 2 the circuit access transmission lines access inductor says so here j naught here j naught is the characteristic impedance j naught is characteristic impedance j was is the input impedance of open circuit transmission lines so length of the transmission line in between lambda by 4 to lambda by 2 then this is a open circuit this is the open circuit so this access inductor then for the condition length L is equal to lambda by 4 quarter wave length so here for the L is equal to lambda by 4 this is the third case for the L is equal to lambda by 4 that is quarter wavelength of transmission line so L is equal to lambda by 4 then L is equal to lambda beta L is equal to pi by 4 for the angle pi by 4 cot beta L is equal to cot beta L is equal to 0 then the input impedance of open circuit Z is equal to minus J Z naught cot beta L so in the uh, cot beta L in the place of cot beta L we have to substitute 0 then the entire value becomes 0 so here open circuit to transmission lines for the input impedance 0 the circuit access series resonance circuit the circuit access series resonance circuit so that's why for the quarter wavelength transmission line that is L is equal to lambda by 4 when the input impedance is 0 ZOC is 0 the, this, uh, the circuit access series resonance resonance circuit is series connection of inductor and capacitor so that is known as series resonance circuit so this is the uh, UHF lines as uh, circuit elements in this we are discussing open circuit shafts, open circuit uh, transmission lines in the next class we will discuss short circuit to transmission lines so for any updates for daily classes subscribe my channel my channel name is electronics for gate by kota vinkanna my mobile number 6305826909 thank you